the seaside. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Well, not for long. Right, where are we? We're on the East Kent coast in England. We're about to go in the sea. It's sort of, it's warmish, but it's quite blowy. It's, uh, it's not, what would you say the temperature is? 15 degrees. Matt's just double dropped a couple of scrumpies and we're ready for war. I needed to relax a little. We want to connect with nature because that's what this trip is about. It's about tree set and it's about connecting with nature. And the first part of call is us dunking our junk in the big blue. Alright, there we do. I don't know you, do I? No, I like this, uh, Alright, cool mate, nice one. <laughs> Salt water therapy done. Where are we going now? I feel good about that. Yes. I was. How would you rate my swimming? I'd rate your swimming a strong eight, week nine. What were you? Ten. Uh, Ten. Uh, no, it's pretty good, wasn't it? And it wasn't. It was cold at first, but then after you got used to it, it actually felt quite warm. It felt warmer to be in the water than. Yeah. To do that Soft there. water. If anyone knows why. That's how we do it in the south. Yeah, everything's softer in the south. Right. What we're we doing now? Where we're we going? Uh, we're going to go to the woods and make a camp. Cook some stuff up. Cook some stuff up. What's it like? Lobster? Lobster, seafood. No, but let's not promise that. Let's not promise that. Cut Burgers, that bit out. Chicken. Yeah. Meat feast in the woods uh, and a crackling campfire podcast. See you in woods. See you in woods. Really hard to do. It is hard to do. Put a few on you. Yeah, no, I will. But I'll see. Because this looks good, because this is nice and dark. Relax, everything's gonna be okay. Oh. <laughs> it just, there's no. I see it spilling it in it. Right, okay. Leave that there and then Where's, put. Why do you pick cucumbers? <laughs> like that's it. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's put some, let's put some Toby inside it. <laughs> Mate, you can't put your chicken fingers in that and pinch it. Oh, you fuckwit. That is disgusting. It's like... <laughs> I don't want a meal that looks like an absolute backstreet gynecology fucking club. Oh! That'll be good, mate. <laughs> Get it in you. Right. <laughs> Come here, love. Come here, love. Come here. Come on. Oops. 
the low point. Right? <laughs> for the chicken. For bushcraft, for masculinity. For humanity. Ah. Tiddling out. It's making a noise. Yeah, but look, it's fizzing out of a bum hole. <laughs> there you go, look at that. That looks, in this light, absolutely barbaric. Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it does. <coughs> you? What pebble dashing it? On legs. <laughs> a really bad fucking builder. Huh. Look at that. There she is. Ready for a ready for a close up. Don't touch your dick or eyes. And then, we just, just to take the edge off, not too much to stop it from cooking, but. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, Look at that. Isn't it? Number of Johnny chicken. Matt can't drink beer, so it's cider chicken. It's a strong bow can up a chicken's anus. <laughs> yeah, Basically. yeah, and you see now it was created, and it's not. There's no, there's no shame in it. But hopefully it'll be delicious and tender. We'll see. We'll see. Only time will tell. Mm. Yeah, that's cooked. That is cooked. Minted lamb and vegetables cooked on the fire. Bon appetit. She just needs a big fire building round her and just like a sacrificial chicken. She's double dipping. What? It's infecting the whole <laughs> what do you mean? plate with your disease. What? How do you mean? Get a bowl, serve it in there, you? Alright. What are you having that? That is, uh, well, it's a cider can chicken. It's the first of its kind, I think. I've never heard it being done before, so. I'd love to know how much cider is left in the can. Dude, there's about half, and okay. you can drink, yeah, and it's like a greasy chicken fat cidery yeah, mess that you can drink. drink. I've always thought there was less than that in there. Yeah. Oh! Put it on there. Yes, she is. Yeah, there we go, this is our cider can chicken in full effect. Has it worked? Has it not it? worked? We don't know. We, we, we don't know. I'm gonna take a. The leg's still on fire, man. Oh. <laughs> I think it's good. Mmm. <sighs> mm. What do you reckon? It was cooked. No, well, definitely cooked. It's actually moist. It's not like... Mm. It's not dry at all, is it? No. And we'll work away on the tits and then we'll maybe move to the leg and the wing. Maybe try a bit of a leg and a wing each. Yeah. <laughs> Cider can chicken, look. Yeah. I think it's very good. It's very good. You just food at home just doesn't taste like this. Uh, this better not be the beginning of proper rain. As you can hear, or maybe you can't hear, but it's just started to rain, so that's another element, literally, that we have to deal with now. Which means our fire will go out properly, and um, we need to get shelter. Because if you get wet, before you go to bed, you get cold, and that's not what we want. But that's why we put our shelters up. That's First why thing. both of us individually have got weatherproof or rainproof shelters set up, ready to go. And the thought of having a rainproof shelter to go to is a nice thought, isn't it? Yeah, especially when it's like... It's lovely. This could go either way, couldn't it? I'll tell you what, it's coming down now. Oh no, we better get under cover. So unless something tragic or magic happens, We'll see you on the morrow.
Good morning, here we are in our camp. Let me just talk you through it. This hazy, starting to prepare. Well, yeah, just last night's starting to prepare cobweb. breakfast. Yeah, trying to blow last night's cobwebs off. So our fire stayed lit all night, even through rain. How bad was the rain? It, it sounded it, bad, didn't you it? You see my tap sunk there, that's because it's full of, it's got a puddle on top of it. Let's have a little camp tour. There's Hazy's little bed. His little dog's bed on the floor. His little rain collection up there. Here's my beautiful, look at that, hammock. I didn't even get into my sleeping bag till about four in the morning. So when you when I'm camping in winter, I have a um, like a sort of shiny foil base thing that goes in there to stop because you lose all your heat as the wind's whipping underneath it. You lose your heat downwards. So, uh, but then that. What else do I? Use? Oh, I sometimes have a wool blanket as well. But honestly, I didn't even get into that sleeping bag. I was just in my clothes with a fleece, uh, like a winter coat thing like a little jacket I was fine all night uh, so last night we did a podcast around the fire but we told ourselves we wouldn't drink like at all until we'd finished the podcast and then we started drinking as we started the podcast and we I think for COVID had for <laughs> for reasons of um you know, like trying not to infect each other if one of us was carrying it. And let's face it, who do you reckon's carrying it out of us two? Hello. So what we did was we went, oh, well, let's have a bottle of wine each. So we're not sharing a bottle of wine. And then basically drank a bottle of wine each. But um, although actually I've got about a quarter left. But Hazy drank it in about five minutes and became unmanageable again. <laughs> There's a thing developing, uh, but then so basically we woke up. Well, we went to bed thinking we'd done a good podcast, and then I woke up with the sort of regret that you have, the sort of panicked regret that you have after drinking. And uh, so I was thinking, oh shit, I don't think that podcast is good actually. And then when we analysed it this morning through the hazy memory, which is uh, pun intended. Through the hazy memory, it was like, uh, oh, hang on. At one point, I was getting, guys, gear's really important. I've got a wonderful jacket with a kangaroo pocket. That's a pocket on front of your jacket. You can keep everything in there. It's really good. Boring dad. And Hazy's just like, oh, well, if a chicken uh, lived underwater. Just in ADHD kid. So we are basically our stupid, the worst parts of our personalities came out. There was a part. I think that's just, I think that's just my personality, though. Unfortunately, yeah, can be a little bit. No, of there's, there's bits where you were like actually informative. See, this is the thing you walk around with Hazy in the woods, and he'll say, Oh, that's that tree. You can eat those plants, you can eat those berries. There's wild garlic picking stuff, and so he's very knowledgeable. So, I'd like to capture some of that. Yeah, hey, some. <laughs> I'm not, no, what are you gonna eat out of? I'll just eat it out of this. Sure, yeah. yeah right. You don't sleep all night, do you? You sort of wake up, you're aware of stuff. I kept waking up seeing the fire was still going. Then when it starts raining, you like register stuff all night, don't you? Like if mm. there's something moving near, you sort of... No, and it's not like you're sleeping on edge. Well, you're you are. Just, it's, um, you're, it, not, you're not going, what's that? But it's true of anywhere where you sleep, even if you're in a hotel. If it's a, like a foreign area, like a... You, your brain won't go into full REM sleep because it's... It's a, like a survival thing. Right. It keeps you alert. So you don't get healthy sleep when you're travelling. Anyway. The drinking, I think. Oh, yeah, boozing. Like, I drank four bottles of wine yesterday, but because it's an unfamiliar hotel room, <laughs> yeah. I just don't... I didn't get rested. I feel like shit. I've got a banging headache from all this tension. <laughs> um, can you eat a badger? Have you caught one of those badgers we saw? Oh, if one of them just stumbled over and fell in fire, that would be... I think about that, I think about foxes and badgers. People would have eaten them back in the day, wouldn't they? Yeah, but, but no one eats like, them now. Do badgers eat meat? They do, don't they? They eat, they eat worms and bugs and shit, stuff. Oh, God. Imagine, because like with squirrels, at least they're just eating nuts and stuff. Squirrel meat's delicious. Yeah, but like, isn't it like when you eat predators, they taste disgusting? Like if you actually ate bear meat. Bear meat's delicious, apparently. I thought, so it, was, I thought it was toxic and you have to cook it for hours. Nope. 
it's a delicacy. <coughs> you get these ones that uh, li that that feed primarily on like blueberries, and their skin, their meat is tinged blue, Ooh. and it's delicious. By all accounts, mm. everything at some point has been eaten, hasn't it? Oh yeah. I mean, when you like a when you see like giraffe shack people shank. starving on that show alone, that I love, you just think, or like you get so desperate. That, you know like in a cartoon where someone turns into a ham or something when you're starving <laughs> yeah I reckon you just go into that and you'll start because like there was I watched one episode and they were watch they were eating bark but it was bark that they knew that Native oh. Americans had eaten with just some new some calories some, yeah and it's like the the work your body has to do to get the calories out of it because it's both it's bark you know? Do you reckon you'd ever get that hungry that you'd look at you like I'm looking at my feet now and would they turn into little like hams I do I sometimes think this like I googled this before that if you were starving, Eat could you keep yourself alive by cutting off a leg? If you if you dealt with a wound properly, and then eating your own leg to stay alive. But apparently, the energy that your body requires to heal the wound takes more energy than you would get from eating the leg. Ah, uh, yeah, but and also the trauma. You could you could your body go into shock. If you're in a survival yeah. situation, the last thing you need to be doing. <laughs> I'm gonna cut my leg off. I know what I'll do. I'm peckish. I bet someone's done that. And imagine the feeling of regret after you. You know, like sometimes when you've eaten a meal, you think, oh, I shouldn't have eaten that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If it was your own leg. I feel a bit tubby Tom after Just think, oh. Uh, and then they're paying for that tomorrow. An hour later, you're eating your other leg. Go, oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. You've got the munchies. <laughs> <laughs> imagine you were in a survival situation. You eat your own leg. And then literally you hear, hello, hello, someone comes and rescues you. Well, I think that about, well, it happened, didn't it, on that, like, when the rugby players crashed into the mountain and they had to eat the pilots first and stuff. Yeah. Why that did they first eat the pilots first? Because they were dead. Yeah, they, they, well, a few people died, but they, they saw it as like, well, they crashed the plane sort of thing, so that's... Oh, it's brutal. It is brutal. And I always think there is a point, it's like the guy who cut his arm off in the rock and stuff. Yeah. There is a point where it's like, well, the point of no return. And you're always going to think, right, as soon as I cut this, is someone just going to pop his head over there with, like, yeah. a can of lilt and a bag of fucking Maltesers or something? And be like, yeah. yeah. You're too late. Ugh. Is that... That's that film, isn't it? Alive. Is that... Is that Alive is a film, yeah. Is that... Um, Based on a true story, though. Yeah, no, it is. But, like, did they sanitise it for the film? Because, like... They must have done, must I reckon, Because yeah. you can't like, just start eating people without... Raw? Was it raw? I thought, oh yeah, because they, they, they just like, and it was frozen, wasn't it? Like once you died, you were frozen within a few hours. So it's like, it's like jerky, isn't it, in a way? I wonder what human tastes like. It's meant to taste like chicken, isn't it? Would you eat it right? Okay, if someone had said, so if they could clone, so it's not actually been sentient. Right, yeah. And it was just like a, an Lab arse, grown meat. A lab grown arse, no, but it was human. Yeah. And a human arse. Would you eat a human arse? an arse? What? Why well, can't it be like an a rump? Where... It's like a rump steak. Would I eat a human ass that's been grown in a laboratory? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is better. <laughs> I think. No. What? Because, do you know would. why? I think, like. That would follow you around forever. Everyone would. That's the only thing that would be. That's like the footnote of your life would be. He yeah, ate yeah. a human ass that was grown in a lab. <laughs> yeah, but you could you could really dine out on it, literally. You could travel, talk about it on podcasts, something to talk about. Yeah, I suppose. What it's content, like. baby. It's content, innit? Film me the, the human skin ass. Up. Um, they are talking about lab-grown meat. Just have a mushroom. Well, what's this chicken in the woods stuff I keep hearing about? Oh, mate, we, keep, we should keep our eye out for it because it is a fungus. It's a bracket fungus, which means it grows on trees. And it is the same texture, and it has a taste. It's like chicken soup, you know, that creamy sort oh. of. And the same sort of fibrous texture as chicken. How much? Because when I've seen people um, getting it, harvesting it, like you get a lot. Yeah, you can get big bits, yeah. Is it nutritional? Yeah. It's like properly... Yeah, mushrooms are the truth, mate. It was me last night, just a simple tap, and I was just on the deck. Don't think I got done by ticks or anything, but... That'll all be found out in the shower. And then, Sir Matthew of Morgan. Look at that. Professional. Look at it. Camp us. And I have a little refugee camp. That's me. Tucked away under there. A little feast for the bugs. 
the Hennessy hammock, which is actually modified and cut the ropes off. I tried to make it totally foolproof. He's modified it as well. On the Hennessy, there's like a pointed bit of plasticky stuff, right, that hides all the gubbins. I cut that off, and if you cut off the where the rope attaches, there's like whatever that's called webbing, yeah, like seat belt material. Put a carabiner through that, and then just use these. They're not that heavy, and they're easy because before it was this comes out and it's just a rope, and then I had that tied to a little mod I found online where it's like a you put a tree hugger strap with two um, propel rings, right? And then the rope goes through. You do you go through both, then boot back through one. That thing. But even that, sometimes it was it wasn't working, and I'm just, you know I'm not an expert, so I just thought make it so simple, and this did. It go just up looks good, doesn't easy. it? And it's a side layer for anyone who doesn't know. So the DD hammock which I'm in is just a, a you just lay on your back, and I sometimes get night terrors on my back, so it's not good. But this thing, you it's a diagonal layer, so you can you can really spread out in yeah, your cart, yeah. Lay sideways and sleep. I just I sleep as well in this as I do in my bed at home. It just looks good, doesn't it? Look at that. It's easy to get it tight. The floating triangle. Breakfast has been uh, has helped with the noggins. Now we're going to tidy this up, make sure we leave no trace, and then we're going to go find somewhere to dunk our junk. We'll do one of these to tidy up. Boom. And there you go. All squared away. There we go. There's the packs. Oh, I'm in the Osprey Aether. 70 litre, Matt is in the Fjell Raven Kajka 75 litre. 75 litre. Couple of absolute weapons there. I'm looking. Oh my god! Go Come on! <laughs> no, 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 no. You fucking. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! I could get it quick! I can't, it's too close. Come on, jump in! For some reason, Matthew decided to do a, a flying sea bomb. So I've had to talk over this so as to not offend your luggles. <laughs> Yeah, so that's unusable. Oh, it looks right. a bit underwater because it's, it's clear. really clear, yeah. You can open your eyes and you can see. Did you touch the bottom? Well, your bottom. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Just floating back that way. We're going to float back like a couple of buggies. Whee! The thing's a current. There we go. Oh. A not very flat block. If you uh, knock yourself unconscious, you'll help me, won't you? I will really always are? remember you. I'll come here every year to this point. Yeah, will you please? Will you wear hot pants? <laughs> Denim hot pants? I'll wear, oh, I've got them now. When you die, they're going to go to a good home. Ready? Right, ready? Yeah, three, two, one. And it sounded oh. painful. Oh. Didn't look good, did it? I mean, it... Bit of a backflop. It was very loud, oh, bang. Man. It sounded like it hurt. That hurt. That's how we end it. I don't know how we're going to cut this shower of shit, shit together. Oh, that really hurt. But that's it. Job done. We've swam in rivers. We've swam, swam in, in the, the sea. sea. Yeah. We've camped in the woods. We've camped in the woods. We've had fires. We've reset and tree set. We've done it. Out. I 
like Jordan, trying to rise on to the top. Me, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were war, then I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars are gone by by the month. Me, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were war, then I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars are gone by by the month.